Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Music and the News. It's been almost a year that I've wanted to do this. I've gone past self-doubt and fear of criticism and so many other things to be here. I was speaking to someone in church one day, um, Timothy Kunazan. He was like, if you're waiting for the video to be perfect, you never do it. And so that was what inspired that post I made on my WhatsApp to say that I'm going to start. I'm going to have a video ready by Sunday. That's tomorrow. So I'm recording this video Saturday night because finally my baby's asleep. I I had one very amazing topic that I wanted to talk about. As in one sweet line of thought that I was musing on. But then life happened. I barely slept last night. My baby was not looking so well. I've had a very busy day. And honestly, I do not have the mental capacity to talk about anything educating. Or <laughs> yes, I do not have that 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 strength in my mind right now to to do anything serious. So I'm here to just so let's get down to the business of today right i am going to be telling you guys five things i do differently that is um single versus new mom um the five things that i do differently the ways i did them while i was single and how i do them now so first on the list is that when i was when i was single right when i'm sad i loved to be alone I love to have this space when I'm having mood swings and all. I just lock up myself in my room. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just all grumpy. I'll just come out and go and buy my bread and take tea and go back to bed, listen to music, read a book and all. But almost as a new mom, right, you do not have that. Uh, what do I? What do I call it now? You do not have that privilege of being sad and wanting to be alone. That's a whole story that I don't want to go into right now, but well, your life is legit about someone else and you do not get to just lock up the door and just be on your own. <laughs> All things are passed away. Sorry, number two, second thing I do differently now is when I was single, I slept all night like legit when i hit the bed right i did not i did not wake up to the sound of anything Maybe me conscious <laughs> but nothing can wake me up i am a very heavy sleeper i will sleep from night to morning like i can sleep from 8 p.m as soon as i shut down i did before i open my eye again it's 5 6 a.m the next day but well as a new mom i don't even have to tell you when the baby is waking up like everyone i was saying i want food i want food like uh there's this wiring i don't know how god did it there's a wire that connects with your child that once they just make the first sound you are up and bye bye to heavy sleep number three um uh, that thing i do differently now i could never sleep with jewelry like no matter how tired i was no matter how tiny the earrings are when i come home i have to remove everything makeup and everything and before i can sleep i love that freedom but <laughs> When Queen stepped into the picture, right? right now I can sleep with anything. Like these earrings I'm wearing. When I am when I am exhausted like this, I just come, I enter the bed, I'm gone. I do not even remember. So recently I now realized that ah madam, you are sleeping, you are waking up with earrings. What's this? What is this? I think the jinx broke. <laughs> the thing that used to make me feel like I cannot sleep without uh, cannot sleep with jewelry on or makeup on. It has it has died right now i can sleep with gin i can sleep with anything because of exhaustion most of the time four four thing i do differently now is when i wanted to cross the road right i used to cross like i owned the road so i would just look left like this doesn't matter the speed the vehicle is coming i will enter road like i own the road but right now when i'm carrying my baby i don't want to hear stories that touch so the last car coming must be very very far away before i have the lever to just enter the road so i can be at the road like literally stand if nobody just teaches me to say ah madam with baby come and cross so i can i can just stand there for like uh 10 15 minutes until the road is clear enough for me to go past as in go across so that's number four number five mm. i hated bags with all my heart 
I don't know if you have seen me somewhere before, like if I carried bags like this because maybe there was high heels because another thing I hate next to bags is let me not use the word hate, it's too heavy. Let me say dislike high heels. So I would usually carry bags because my comfortable shoes are in there. So as soon as I get the chance to get off those heels, I can enter my comfort. But Right now, you cannot go anywhere and not carry a bag. And it's not even fancy bag. It's big, ugly. <laughs> Let me not say ugly because we're, we're really fancy mommy, new mommy bags right now. Because you count the things that need to be in that bag. You need to have like two extra change of clothes. You need to have, at least it's countless diaper, uh, milk, water, whatever, whatever, whatever. So you have to carry a mighty bag. No time though, but. Um, I was this I was this no bag girl. I would just put my phone in one pocket, hang my earpiece around my neck, put my transport money in the other pocket, and I am good to go. But things are not the same. So well, um, I said all that to say right that our seasons. It's funny how the seasons of our lives determine like what we do, our habits, and everything. Breaking transmission. I had to attend to my baby and I have lost what I was saying. But then, um, whatever season you are in, just maximize it and make the most of it because responsibilities come more. I'm not saying that there's any of these seasons that is um, less relevant or more enjoyable. Every season of life is sweet. I'm telling you, as far as you have got, yeah, of course, every season is to be enjoyed. So, if you are single, be selfish, travel, study, do what you need to do. Uh, just enjoy uh, the advantages that come with each of the seasons of life. And there's definitely going to be a part two for this video because the list is endless. But if you are here watching this and you are a new mom or a mother, old mother, <laughs> or you've been a mom for a while, um, Please feel free to share with me, share with us in the comment section um, some of those things that you do differently while, while you were single and now that you are a mother. And um, for those that are single, um, I hope you had a good time watching this. Really live your best life. Right now is the best time to live your best life. Huh? See me now, dropping quotes. Right now is the best time to live your best life. Quotes. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to bring you more content like this. Uh, if you are yet to please subscribe. 